Hello guys, let's talk today about the IVMS 4200 from Hike Vision, how to auto start up with Windows. Okay, I have Windows 10 running here. So as you can see, the image is live from the camera that I have here. I have a Hike Vision camera connected to any VR and everything is working. The software is good, working fine, but I need it to auto start up with Windows. So what I have to do is just to create a task. I, I come here and I look for task schedule, right? So here we go, task scheduler. And then I'm gonna to create a new task. So here we go, right side, create task. Just need to give it a name. Let me put it here, for example, IVMS 4200, auto start. Auto start with Windows, okay? So I know better what's this task for. And here it's very, very important to click this option, run with highest privileges, right? So we'll click here because you're gonna run with the admin user. And then you come here to trigger, new, and here you're gonna say to the scheduler how you wanna start it on. And here we wanna start at a startup. Okay, when Windows starts up, you wanna run this schedule, so this task. So here you can also delay for some time. Let's say, for example, one minute, 30 seconds. Let's just choose 30 seconds so window boots up and can have time for everything and then brings the software, right? Okay, and then actions, new. In here, you're gonna tell the software where's, uh, the, tell the scheduler where's the software you wanna run. Here you can look for the software, right? Or you can just copy and paste the location, right? Let me just uh, come here on my desktop and here have the icon for the IVMS 4200. I right click on it, click on properties and here I can find the target. That's the software. Just copy here and come back here and paste it. So now I have all the information that I need. I just hit, hit OK. OK again and I'm ready to go. As you can see here, the task is here. IVMS 4200 out of start with Windows. So I'm good to go. Now I just need to close everything here. Let me just close the IVMS 4200 as well and restart my computer. Here we go. Restart it. And let's just wait for it. Okay, so the computer is back. Let me just log in here with my user and password, or you can use auto login if you want to, right? Here in my case, I just log in it again, and I just need to wait for 30 seconds to see the IVMS 4200 comes up, right? Remember that the scheduler has this time to wait, 30, 30 seconds, and then it starts. Here we go. So IVMS 4200 client is coming up. So it auto runs in here, I can log in. Just put here my username and password. Or you can select here auto login, which is much, much better because you can have your computer uh, bringing the software after the it comes up, bringing the software and auto login, right? Which would be much, much, much better. And here you go. We have here the software up and running. Okay, uh, of course you can improve that by auto logging in the computer and auto logging in the software as well if you want to, okay? But that's the way you can have your IVMS for 200 auto logging or auto start with Windows 10, okay? So I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.